Lavender bladder control, the fourth floor, juices. What do those words mean to you? Hi, my name is Fong Chuan. Welcome to another Make More Mind Bites. Most likely, those words probably don't mean anything to you. However, you may know their definition, you know what each word actually means, but there's no actual value, no story, no memories tied behind it. And, and that's what's happening to a lot of things that we talk about and lots of companies and lots of people when they're speaking to each other, they don't know their audience. They, they assume that people understand, feel and have the same uh, memories that they do and they speak as if they already know. But the problem is they're not telling them the backstory. They're not giving value, not giving meaning to some words that are actually very important to them or expressing themselves enough so that people understand why they're so passionate about something, why they're so emotionally tied to something. Just like McDonald's, Disney, Starbucks, and, and Apple, those are just words. Until you understand the story, until you, you tie it to something memorable that you go, ah, that, that word means something to me. And I just wanted to say for today's Make More Mind Bites, how do you tell your story? How do you make certain words not just have a definition, but have a life, have, a, have value? And how do you tell that story so that people can feel those emotions, feel those feelings just like you do, so that they understand the passion, the, the emotional ties that you have and why something is so important to you or why something is so funny to you. So for those of you who knows what lavender juices, um, the fourth floor, and bladder control means to me and to uh, others. Thank you for those great memories. Thank you for those stories. And I'll talk to you next time. Remember, today's the day where you can unlock your potential. Thank you.